Hey guys, welcome back to Bee Heads Outdoors. Hey, I'm back. And I know the last video I made, I said I was back, but then I got to start feeling bad again from the uh, COVID-19. But um, it's mostly out of my lungs now, and I'm, I'm feeling great. So I've been back to work and been out here working in the yard and everything and just haven't felt like making any videos until today. So I'm back and we're going to talk about gourds today. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so what we got here is a long neck gourd I grew in the garden last year and uh, I let them dry. It's my first year trying these and man they turned out pretty good. But you have this little skin that's still on them but uh, easy to get off. It takes about five minutes, go run it underneath your sink under warm water and take you, a, I took a scotch Brite rub it off. Takes you about four or five minutes to do one and they turn out like this. It's all bare. You got all the little moldy skin off of it and everything. And then it's time to make a birdhouse. Alright so what kind of birdhouses can we make? This is stuff I've been reading up on just a little bit and for this size gourd, it's probably going to be a blue jay. A blue jay is going to take an inch and a half hole. So I went and bought a hole saw for an inch and a half. About This is about 10, 11 bucks. But if you, got it, you're going to, if you just use it for this, it's going to last you forever. So what we're going to do, we're just going to pick a side. I mean, which side would be best? You know, there's a little, this is... A little bit more fatter side, so I'm going to try this one. So, all right, well, let's let's do it. It's like a nice little flat spot. Easy. See what I mean? It'll last you forever. Now what we have in here, I've already shook these. You can shake them and, and there may not be nothing that's it's stuck to the side. Shake them until you hear that baby rattler in there. You can see I got all kinds of gourds. So, making birdhouses. Let's empty these out. In there. You can see all these seeds that are gonna come out. Plenty enough to start you some more. So, what I want to do, I want to get in there and try to get that big piece out. It's a big piece of this. But it runs all the way up. I'm going to have to cut it. All I'm doing is just trying to cut up this. Big old pea, I'm not going through it. You can feel the size. Worse you a little bit though. Okay, well I got it cleaned out finally. It took me about 10 minutes. That's probably going to be the hardest part of this whole job. I mean, look at this. This is all the stuff to come out. It wasn't much, but this stuff right here was the pain getting out. So we put it over here, get it out of the way. I mean, look at all, look at all these gourd seeds. We can use them in the garden. There's, I don't know how many is here. A couple hundred, maybe. It's quite a few. So easy peasy, man. That's that's free stuff for the garden so easy peasy on that right that's the hard part the pain in the rump so here we'll push all these out of here to the side and I'm going to reuse some of these this year for the garden <coughs> one seed will probably grow you I think I had four seeds Maybe six seeds. I can't remember last year in the garden. 
and I end up getting 15, 16 gourds, long neck gourds. So I gave a couple to the neighbors so they can make them some stuff, but on with the project. Now the next thing is we're going to drill a hole through the top for the uh, string, or in this case I'm going to use something else. nothing to it all right now here's the tip for these and we're going to have a string through the top and water is going to have to come down and it's going to be going it's going to be dripping down through here okay well i find a lot of people just drill a hole in the center of this i don't find that to be effective because water is going to come out to the edges well i find the lowest point wherever that is on here looks like about right here and then I'll drill a hole there because water's going to run to your lowest point Always. so now it has a place for water to escape all right in this case like I said I don't have string but I do have a roll of electric wire that electric fence wire that I don't use so guess what I'm going to use you got it now I'll trim this off a little bit whenever I get out there and I find where I want it at tie it together up here <laughs> all right there we go okay that, that, that looks better and there you go that's all there is to it we'll go out there and set them up and hopefully get us a nice bird in there I don't care what it is but that's going to be useful around the garden is those birds you know it's going to control a lot of your insects so and that'll get it right there overlooking your garden so Guys, hope you enjoyed the video today, and uh, grow you some gourds, make some birdhouses. We'll see you next time. Wife's calling. Later.